Hey guys, so um, it is, I'm meant to be in Manchester, well I was meant to be in Manchester yesterday and that didn't happen because Covid obviously, so I'm obviously still in London but I have a very exciting appointment today that I have told nobody about so I'm super excited and I am going to get a tattoo so I'm just getting ready to go and do that now I am getting some like wildflower thing here I'm super excited I'm going to take you guys with me if I can maybe get a bit of me just chilling I'm so excited um I feel like I'm losing my mind a little bit I'm having a middle life quarter life crisis where I'm just like what what other things can I do to my body <laughs> so yeah I'm just getting ready now and um, I will show you guys the possibly the process maybe not because I'm like half excited half nervous um, and then I will definitely show it to you afterwards although hopefully yeah it goes well So I did it. I went and got my tattoo. It's actually the day after and I just took off the plastic filming and gave it a bit of a wash. But here it is. Let me show you. The like grey splodgy bits you can see and you can just about see the thing, the film that was on it was really sticky. So I have got like kind of sticky marks all the way around but here she is so basically I took off the plastic filming gave it a wash um still a little bit sticky which is a bit annoying because I'm like trying not to like scrub at it yeah so I'm just gonna let it dry for now because you have to leave it to air out for like 30 minutes and then, um, but yeah, basically I washed it with, um, you can't see this, but this is the Galané soap bar um, because it's like unscented and doesn't have any like nasty things in it. It's really good for like sensitive skin. So I was like, use that to wash it with. And then in like half an hour, I'm going to put on some of this tattoo moisturiser and how to do that two to three times every day for like two or three weeks basically just to keep it moisturized and to make sure it doesn't like fade but it might like scab up a bit over the next few days but yeah i did it it didn't hurt like as much um as i was expecting it to and i'm super happy with it it's exactly what i was looking for so yeah really really happy with it and i will link the the people that I went to down below but it was one by one um tattoo it's on Berwick Street it's just near Oxford Circus like halfway between Oxford Circus and Tottenham Court Road in London and I saw Alice and her handle on Instagram is wavy or not so if you want to check out some more of her cool stuff do that she's amazing she was really great so would definitely recommend if you're thinking about getting a tattoo Hello, hello. So this week is what we like to call a monumental week because every now and this happens to me, every now and then like a million things come along at once. So obviously this week I've got my tattoo. She's still here, looking cute. And I also had a call about adopting a dog. So, I might be getting a dog, basically, is the long and short of that story. I am just about to head out now. I've done, like, the home, they do, like, a virtual home tour thing so that they can see where you live. I am, like, beyond excited, but also, like, <laughs> just blows my mind that I might be getting a dog, like, 
honestly i just sit here sometimes and i'm like you know what this needs you know what this life needs a dog so yeah i'm gonna go and see the dog now and i'm just getting emotional just thinking about it like i'm literally just thinking oh my god like i'm gonna have a full breakdown when i see this dog so i really hope it goes well but we'll see how it is and maybe next week i'll have a dog because they want you to take them away like pretty quickly because i'm adopting so taking one from a, a dog's home kind of crazy week really so i'm here i wonder if you can see there's like dogs trust vans everywhere so i'm gonna go in and hopefully meet my dog if i don't like have a mini breakdown on the way in i feel like i'm gonna cry I feel like I'm gonna throw up. I'm like nervous and also excited, but I'm like two minutes late, so I'm gonna head it in now. Hello, me again. I am burning some soup. That's what I'm doing right now. So I am just um, in the kitchen making a french onion soup which is my absolute favorite thing in the whole world it's so good so literally just onions wine stock mm, it's delicious and it goes all like caramelized and gorgeous so here's the soup thing i'm, I'm watching estee lalonde on youtube so i'm vlogging while watching vlogs Feeling a bit sorry for myself, not gonna lie, but I spent today, let me just try not to burn this. Okay, that's better. So I spent today shopping for things for my little doggy because I'm picking her up next week. So I wanted to make sure I have everything that I need. So I've got like a bed, coats, Holton collar thing, what else did I get? I also have ordered some stuff for the car, like protective stuff and like a seatbelt. Um, and I also have a the dog bowls and stuff on the way. So that's exciting. But yeah, I'm just having like a chilled evening. I just did a workout as well and had a shower. But yeah, I'm feeling a bit sorry for myself. So I thought, you know, what better way than to make like very wholesome food. It's Friday just about to head out going to dinner with a friend at pastillo pastillo it's an italian place in soho so yeah that's fun i'm also going to show you my outfit because i'm feeling like real cute like casual cute so excuse the mess i've just thrown a few things here this is actually a dress um, which I've worn as a top and now I'm wearing it as like an overshirt. Uh, Stradivarius jeans as always and I think this top is from Stradivarius as well actually. But it's just like a... But I wanted to wear something so that I could like get my little tattoo out. But I realised I literally own like 90% long sleeves which is great. I'm in a rush I'm not really sure what I'm doing right now what was I gonna do I have just got back from spin class I've remembered what I was gonna do and I am about to head out to go and pick up my doggy I can't remember I it feels like this week has gone so friggin long and slow I don't remember what I told you but she is a two-year-old greyhound called Ivy and I am about to leave to pick her up now. Um, I've got to drive all the way to Basildon, which is like an hour. That's the plan. I'm gonna take all my stuff with me. I've got to go and sort out the car, put all the stuff in the car that I need, so I need to go and do that now. Obviously, like, rushing around, but it'll be fine. I'll make it in time, so. Um, see you guys in a bit. I picked her up yesterday. I think I was like more stressed than she was, to be honest. 
literally like she's just chilling hey here she is say hi no okay she's just sniffing everything literally just wants to sniff everything ready to go out yeah so we're just about to go out we're going for a walk in northampton we're gonna go meet my mum my sister and my mum's dog because i want to introduce them so that they get used to each other um, because obviously when I go home I'll want to take her with me and I didn't want to just like introduce her in the house so that's what we're up to today uh, beautiful weather so far yeah should be really fun and yeah it was really it was honestly so easy like she's been so chill she's super calm <sighs> I was stressing though like I haven't really slept very well because I was like oh my god is she okay like the whole time um she was just chilling she's just been sleeping the whole time she's just like every time she's like just like literally right now i'll show you in a second but she's always lay down which is so cute yeah i literally she just lays everywhere um and i bought her a duvet as well so she uh lays down hey we're ready to go just left the house which is why she is getting so close <laughs> hey so she is um obviously excited to see me back which is nice but now she's gonna lie down i haven't seen you guys in so long and you won't know that because obviously i haven't spoken to you and i've literally done nothing but oh, she's so cute oh she's cuddling me isn't that the cutest thing you've ever seen anyway yes so don't remember the last time i spoke to you but it's probably like just after i picked little ivy up it's going okay i'm fine totally fine everything's fine she is like honestly a little angel really like in the grand scheme of things she's great she is lovely and i've just noticed that the rug is pulled up so i wonder what she's been doing over there but she is like 99% of the time great. She sleeps all day. She doesn't really love walking, but she just like gets stressed on like the first five minutes of a walk. And then she pretty much calms down after that. So it's fine. And then she, she's started doing this thing where she like cries at night, which is just great for me. Um, she's like keeps me awake. So that's fun. Yeah, but other than that, like, no, like ugh, I can't really ask for any more, to be honest. Like, she's obviously a rescue, so she's going to have some things, some things going on, you know? And, like, having her cry a little bit and be a bit stressed for, like, five minutes on a walk is very minimal issues, really. So I'm pretty pleased about that. But, yeah, she's just gorgeous, isn't she? What a little gorgeous angel. And it's nice when she's excited that I get home. So yeah, that's that's fun. I have no idea what is in this vlog. I think it's like my, my quarter life crisis, which is what I might call it. Quarter life crisis being, oh, uh, I'm a bit depressed. Should I get a tattoo and a dog? So I did. Um, but here we are. It's all fun and games, isn't it really? So I'm gonna sign off this vlog here. I think. sure i am i am gonna sign off for here and then i am seeing some friends later um they come around to meet little ivy and then i'm going home this weekend i'm gonna get these gorgeous roots done and see my fam take ivy to meet some people um and also go and see my goddaughter my little baby goddaughter so that's exciting um, but yeah, I will take you guys with me. I've got a few kind of like a busy week next week. So I'll take you guys over there. <laughs>